Right then, so I'm leaving that section. It's only because I've done a lot of walking, done map reading, that my, and I did ask one person just to confirm I was going to carry on, but I, I could have got confused back there with all those gates. Now, right over there, what I've noticed is um, the hill fort. I've seen some people standing on the top. That's the hill fort there. So we're not far. There's the um, Robert Warren with all the trees there. I'll be walking over that way shortly. And according to the woman on the horse, I've just got to follow this track now. I can smell pot, you know. It's that or some sort of plant that smells like marijuana. God, it's really rampant. God, it really smells rampant. Like, like someone's having a huge marijuana party. God, bloody hell. It could be the trees that smell like it, I don't know. Anyway, some beautiful scenery around here, everyone. And I've had views of the hill for I've never seen from this angle before. I've taken a picture. I've not seen the the trees from this angle before either. And over there will be Shipham and Rowbarrow, over there. And there's a sign now. Like I said, this is the much longer way. This is a nice way though. It's a nice way, it's an alternative way for me now. For example, say I decide to leave Cheddar and make my way to Sanford, I'd come this route. I think I'd remember the gate. I'd remember the, that this curly bit going up. I'm just going to stay on this lane now. I mean, whether I should really go, say, across there is another, is another thing. I don't really know. I keep feeling this is going to take me... I don't know whether I should carry on over there. That looks like it's going down, doesn't it? Well, what you'll have to do is just go and explore, Sheila. I got a feeling I should go across there. She said, just keep on this path, see? Right, let me just put it on pause a minute. Right, it's a good job I asked somebody. Because um, if I'd gone down there, I would have ended at Churchill. Okay? So basically, he says go over this way. Which is what my instinct told me because of the positioning of the Robera Fort, you see. Yeah, so what you've got to remember is don't go down there. Right, so come off there. <sighs> go along here, Sheila, look. So what you have to do, come off there. Don't go round there, that'll take you down. I thought that. I thought that would happen. I've got a feeling that's the start of the the woods, see? 
No, like I said, uh, <sighs> I'm going as a crow flies. <sighs> I don't want to end up on the road, you know, and have to walk through Churchill. No way. Over in the corner, he said, this is where it gets messy. Yeah, it's all very unclear now, isn't it? It's a case of really guessing now. There's no barn, I'll tell you that. I should have printed off a map, really. Over in the corner, he said. Follow a tree line. I'm videoing this live because this shows you the sort of, when you're exploring, it always takes you longer as well. The reason it takes you longer is because, I mean, it's fortunate that there's been a couple of people en route that I've been able to ask. Otherwise, I would have ended up back down in Churchill, walking on the road that I could have been doing an hour ago. Now, over in the corner of the field, there's a stile. I can see it now. I've got to keep the film rolling so that I remember. There's a gate there. And then in the corner, it looks like a stile. Yeah, if I read, if I still got those instructions, I've probably lost them now. Let me have a look at these instructions a minute. Pass the mend out all the way after the barn. Or that I haven't come across a barn. And if I hadn't met that bloke, I wouldn't have known about this stile here and another gate. I'm going to turn off in a minute, folks. Just take a picture of this to remind me. Yeah, how that. Looks like something anyway. There. See, there's people emerging from over there as well. Right over and out.